If you're tired of eating the same kind of roast turkey year after year, after year, after, after year, year. <laughs> our next guest has the perfect twist on the big bird. Here to show us how to make his signature turkey porchetta is Ooh. the executive chef and owner of Pino Hospitality, Anthony Pino. Welcome to the well, show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having All right. me. All right. So before we jump into preparing this meal, tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about your restaurant. Well, restaurants. Restaurants. That's sorry, true. sorry, okay. sorry. Get them so, all in. 16 Plural. years ago, my uh -huh. wife and I, we started uh, Anthony David's. Mm -hmm. And it's been a dream of mine since I was 10 years old. Wow. When I was 10, I'm going to be a chef. I'm going to be a chef. And here I am. How did you know? Uh, just drive. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, kind of, what do I want to do with the rest of my life at 10, to be honest <laughs> with you? And then uh, my mom said, find a trade. So learn how to be a chef. And you bring your Italian culture into all of your recipes, right? All of them. Wow. Okay, so before we talk about turkey, let's mm -hmm. talk about why it's so dry, mm. typically. Yeah. I don't understand Just that. when it comes down to, it's a lean, lean product. But how do we make it juicy? How do we juice things up? Well, there's, you could fry it, which a lot of people yeah. deep fry. I mean, <laughs> not, now you're talking, right? Yeah. So that is really good. Okay. Um, people roasting it in bags, it all works out nice and neat, but at the end of the day, it's still turkey. Mm -hmm. When you get down to it, it could be somewhat boring. So that's why a lot of people, they tend to do like uh, truffle gravy or something like this or mm -hmm. fry it or stuffing it with sausages and stuff like that. Because oh. at the end of the day, everyone still loves all the sides more than they love the turkey. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no matter what you do to it, it's still the best part of the meal. Okay. So what's the biggest mistake people always make when making the turkey? Uh, overcooking it. Oh, really? Overcooking yeah. It. it overcooks. And uh, I think part of the problem is when you take your turkey out, mm -hmm. it's still cooking. Mm. That's you what I heard. Yeah, it's so true. it's called carryover cooking. So when you take it out, okay. your turkey is still going to cook for another 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, so you should right? take so it out like, 30 minutes early then. Yeah, if you're if you're that good, you know, you can okay. do it. But so, <laughs> well, <I don't> know. <laughs> um, so when you do take it out, um, you know, you're not looking. Everyone says clear juices. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, clear juices, a little bit of blood, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let it come out. Let it rest. Mm -hmm. And they, at the end of the day, at the 30, 40 minutes, the leg pulls off nice and easily. Oh, yeah. Then you're ready to roll. See, I usually just look for the smoke coming out of the oven. Sure, sure, down. sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's okay. <laughs> it works. Well, okay. well, that's there we go. Just pull the battery out of the smoke detector and you're ready to roll. There okay. you go. Okay. Well, let's cool. talk about your turkey porchetta uh, yeah. because yeah, I'm assuming you. this is never dry. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not dry <laughs> okay. um, for a lot of reasons. Well, it's a smaller... It will have a much quicker cooking time. Okay. okay. So you're looking for, this is a one side of a breast off a 10 to 12 pound turkey. Oh. Okay, so it feeds three to four people. Nice. And we practiced a few weeks ago at my house. Yeah. And kids, my wife, we all housed it. It was a hit. It was Ooh. amazing. Well, we want to taste this. So let's yeah. get to yeah. making it. So, so this is what we started with. Uh, we took a turkey breast. Okay. It, when turkey breast, you take it off the bone, you slice it in half, mm -hmm. put a little plastic wrap down, Pound it down, pound like it. a veal chop, you know, veal cutlet. You want okay. to pound, make some size. Okay. Then what we did was we put some prosciutto here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we took a little bit of a uh, cooked um, spinach. Okay. We lay it, it out. Lay it out like that. Okay. okay. What else we put on? Uh, we put it on that. Um, some breadcrumbs you can put on top really? of there. Yeah. Just dump them on top. Not a little bit. Okay. I'll let you go. All right, there you go. That's okay. good for you. Right. Yep. Right. We'll put that down in there like that. Um, sweet Italian sausage. Ooh, okay. Let me smell that. So this is really good. This is from mm -hmm. a butcher around the corner. Trulio's. It's really so delicious. Fresh. We're buddies. So homemade Italian sausage. We then we put some garlic. 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 You can't go wrong with oh, garlic. That's right. <laughs> so we had some uh, roasted cloves of garlic that we're going to put in there. Mm -hmm. Slow roasted, caramelized, the sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You like, you like yeah. me, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. This mm. is good. Yummy. There we go. So then, of course, uh, like everyone, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah, we go. Pepper. Okay. Right. Salt. Pepper, grab the time there. Okay, right there's there. time yeah. here. Yeah. All right. How much time? should I put on? Uh, so a little sprinkle? Yeah. A little bit more. There okay, you go. There we go. There you go. I'm right. going to save some for the outside. Okay. Pe grated pecorino cheese. I'm Italian. Ooh, so yeah. have pecorino is a, is, a, is a sheep milk cheese. Okay. And it is a meat. Pecorino. Why do you have eggs here? Eggs, because, you know, trying to like, you know, you're trying to impress the kids at home. <laughs> okay. Watch this. Uh -huh. So I hard boiled some eggs. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the last. Of it. Uh, so we're, we're gonna, actually going to put those in? Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. All right, grab, grab one. I would never Oops. think. Right. And you push what does the down. egg do? Uh, decoration. Oh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we love eggs. Right, right. right? Wow. Okay. So, okay. So that's where it is. And then mm -hmm. what we do is, as you do this, you kind of put another thing there. Another layer on. Yep. Another layer on. And then what we do, you roll it. Okay, oh, now I'm how gonna is let that you do happen? that because yep. this is where it gets complicated. Yeah, yeah this is, it is, like in, in my recipe, Gingerly roll it. Do you okay. norm normally need two people to pull this off? Uh, you don't. Well, you guys okay. could. Well, I'm actually going to move this around. You're a master, Mr. Chef. Okay. Let me see. This is the right side. Yep, that's the right side. Okay. I did have a right. Okay. Yep, so we're going to do this. 
Now you grab everything. Everything just. And kind of like, you do one of these faces. You really like, are you're rolling like, it. You're <laughs> like, please, please just hold together. Yeah. Okay. And you're like, okay, it's wow. going. Gingerly. Okay. Pull it back to you. All right. And things are going to fall out. That's okay because you're stuffing. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, so it actually like held a, together well, uh, It's like a thought. big turkey hoagie. Yeah, that's right. Oh, are you from Philly? <laughs> turkey yeah. hoagie, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, so well, now everything's inside. Start tying so, it up. So the best thing to do is tie your ends first. Okay. okay. Because that'll kind of keep everything inside. How tight should we tie it? Yeah, you want to tie it just enough so it kind of... Holds. Okay. And then, Shannon, that looks good, Shannon. Well, thank you. Yeah, you I know how to tie my tie shoes, shoes as well. Right? <laughs> You're hired, right? There we go. That's it. Go. The, the tighter you pull, you have a better chance of things kind of coming out. Okay. So yeah. this is just so like when you do put it into the, the oven, Dang. it's gonna hold. That All right. so pretty. Just like that. So then a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm, get it on the outside. Yeah, fresh thyme. Okay. And through the magic of television, we have a... Oh, fresh thyme. I mean, you just pat yeah, that. Yeah. Do that, oh. a little bit of butter. I think okay. I can do that. Right. <laughs> you try. Let me see. Look, you're cooking, Lola. Oh, my God. You've been a bad said, boy. You're a bad oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Can <laughs> okay. the turkey. Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. I like that. I'm a chef. I'm allowed to think like that, okay? Oh, so we're going to come here. <laughs> then, out of 40 minutes in the oven. On what On what temperature? 400 degrees. 400 degrees, 40 minutes. Wow, that's Voila. beautiful. Okay. Yay. Where is the floor? Yay. So this something like this is amazing. great because, you know what? Once it's cooked, mm. leftovers a day after, kids' yes. lunches, sandwiches, eggs oh. benedict. And you mentioned hoagie. Do we just grab this and bite it? Or do we? No. Oh, okay. That's the way I get <laughs> down. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Can you cut it open to show us the yeah, inside? Yeah, we're going to yeah. cut it. Show us the see inside. How it looks sharp so knife. Yes, very sharp. Right? And like, then you kind of like, wow. I hope it's done. Oh, wow. it's beautiful on the inside. Everything Ooh, held that in does there. Look beautiful. Good. And everything cooked. Everything's right. cooked. So the turkey. Uh, it smells divine. The, mm. the sweet Italian sausage. Ooh. Everything's cooked inside. Everything's cooked. And with that carrier cooking. That's what's going to help it not overcook. You're going to take it out. Don't touch it. Let it rest. Let it okay. Rest. And 95 percent chance you're going to you're going to be ready to go. Okay. So hand me the knife, and while I'm cutting off a piece for myself, tell us about your upcoming cookbook. <laughs> oh, yep. So uh, we are currently working on a cookbook of it's just just myself. Okay. And what myself, my wife, we work together. She's an amazing person. Aww. She's my partner. She's my girl. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. She's amazing. But so. What we do, we've always done together. We've been together 25 years, so no. So what, when we talk about food, she gets me, I get her. She says, that's not right. I yell back mm. at her, yeah. and then I remake it. So and I'm like, food. she's right. Food this is, is a, the language of love, yeah, huh? It totally is. Yeah. So uh, we're working on a cookbook for just all our uh, things that her and I have grown with over the past 25 years. I can't wait and to get all the And we built this recipes. business together. This yeah. is delicious. Not dry, Lola. Not dry? It is delicious. Okay, I want to try these. And we have a side item exactly. as well. Yep, so this is one of the sides that we're working on. We also mm. feature this at Bin 14, which is our uh, our wine bar. It's located also mm -hmm. in Hoboken. Mm. Um, it's a uh, cauliflower au gratin. All right. Like kind of a little bit of old school. Mm. Cauliflower is kind of, it's like the old, well, Brussels sprouts were. Cauliflower mm -hmm. is very, very popular now. And going back, a little bit of cream, pecorino, garlic, salt, pepper, wow. toasted breadcrumbs, a little bit of uh, parsley, lemon juice. This is a great twist Ooh, on Thanksgiving Chef dinner. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You, thank you, yeah. Ooh, this is great. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, you brought a holler. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and take this with me. Oh, yeah, right? So <laughs> I don't know how to close this out. I'm just no, going to no, take this no, home. No, no, no. All, yeah. right. All right. I'll leave some for everybody else. All right. Thank you so much, yeah. Chef. We appreciate you. Thank you. you thank you. Thank you. Delicious. Thanks. And you're watching the Rise Entertainment 360. You leave take that right this here. Instead. You're watching. <laughs>